Today, I'm gonna to be combining several of my favorite things. Mashed potatoes, bacon, blue cheese, and smoke, because I'm making smoked bacon blue cheese mashed potatoes. First thing I got to do to get this going is I've got to chop up the bacon. Now I cooked this bacon just a little while ago. Pick your favorite bacon. I like thick cut bacon for this. Now when I cooked this bacon and put it in the refrigerator afterwards, I did not drain it because I want some of that bacon grease flavor in these mashed potatoes. And we're just going to rough chop this. I brought out Mr. Cleaver today. And really this is a rough, rough chop because these are going to be rustic mashed potatoes. We want big chunks of bacon. Just like that. We want big pieces of bacon for these rustic mashed potatoes. All right, let's move on to the potatoes. All right, I have about two and a half pounds of red potatoes here that I just boiled. I am leaving the skin on because again, these are gonna be rustic mashed potatoes. So just go ahead and give these a mash. This is not the finished consistency, but this is about where I want to add the butter. We're adding about two tablespoons of butter to start with. Now, if you want to do this and remove the skins, perfectly fine. Choose your own kind of potatoes. These are just the potatoes I like. We're going to add a little salt and pepper now, and then we'll give it a taste. Give it a quick little mix. Let's see how we're tasting here. That's good. We'll correct for more salt and paper once salt and paper. <laughs> we'll correct for salt and pepper once all the ingredients are in. So I'm going to add a few tablespoons of milk right now before we move on to any other ingredients. Just to get these a little bit of moisture here. Want a little bit of creaminess. Now we're going to add our blue cheese. We've got about a half a cup of blue cheese. Mix this in. I'm gonna switch over to a spoon for mixing now because we're gonna add our bacon. Now this is about three quarters of a pound of bacon that I fried up earlier. Are these bacon mashed potatoes or mashed potato covered bacon? Too much bacon? <laughs> no, I know. That's not even a thing. Wanna get it well mixed. If there's any super big pieces of bacon, someone's gonna get lucky. Give it another taste here. Mmm. I think a little more salt and pepper. Another quick mix. I think I'm gonna add just a little more milk, a couple tablespoons. I don't like soupy mashed potatoes, but I also don't like dry mashed potatoes. That is what I'm looking for. Now it's time to transfer it to a cast iron pan for smoking. So I'm using my eight inch cast iron skillet today. This is gonna hold them while we're smoking them out on the Weber kettle. It's not gonna be any direct heat. It's all indirect and it's just smoke. We wanna get a little bit of heat to help crisp the top with some butter that we're gonna put on it and to put smoke into these potatoes. So we are just gonna fill this up. We're just gonna gently move it around to the edges. We're not trying to compact it or anything like that. So I'm gonna hit this with a little more pepper on top. Then we're gonna put three pats of butter here because you need more butter with bacon. And now it's time to get this out to the Weber kettle and smoke this with some post oak. So I have the Weber kettle set up for indirect with two briquette baskets on the sides. They're about three quarters full each. Again, this is not about a lot of heat. We're gonna be putting some post oak on each one of those briquette baskets while we put the cast iron pan with the bacon blue cheese mashed potatoes in the middle. So let's get the post oak on. One on this side, one on this side. Close our little wings. And get our mashed potatoes right in the center. We're gonna let these pieces of post oak catch and then we will get our lid on. The vents on the bottom and the top are going to be fully open. 
This is just about the smoke and some heat. And this is probably gonna take about 15 minutes. All right, we've got some good flame. It's time to get our lid on. <laughs> so we're gonna give that about 15 minutes to absorb some of that great post oak smoke. Then we're gonna take it off. We're gonna taste it. All right, it has been 10 minutes. Let's get a look at these. Oh, look at those. Nice golden brown on top. That butter is melted. You can see the post oak has been burning and smoldering in here for 10 minutes. I think we are good. Let's get these mashed potatoes off here. Here are our smoked bacon blue cheese mashed potatoes. Now you don't have to do them in a cast iron pan. You can do them in any kind of pan you want. You could even put them on a cedar plank or something like that. But I gotta tell you, there's just something about the looks of this in a cast iron pan. It looks amazing. It smells great right now. And it is time to dig in. Now part of this tasting involves having a glove on my hands so I don't reach down and just grab this cast iron pan as I stick the spoon in it. I can't tell you the number of times I've done that, but here we go. Look at that. There is like ooey gooey stringy blue cheese coming out of here. Wow. The smoke flavor is awesome. I gotta tell you, if you want a way to add a little extra flavor to something like mashed potatoes, give it 10 minutes in smoke. There's so much moisture in the mashed potatoes as they're fresh right there. Smoke loves moisture. It's gonna go right into them. Mm. Now I'm not glossing over my Dark Lord bacon here, but the blue cheese in this is really kind of the star of the show. I don't know if you can see that little string of blue cheese hanging there. It just adds such a creaminess with that little bit of a blue cheese bite to it. I mean, look at that. Now, if you don't like blue cheese, you can use any kind of cheese you want. I just think blue cheese goes really well with things that are smoked. There's something about that, that tang, that bite in it that goes really well with a good smoke. Mm. So I used red potatoes. You can use any kind of potatoes you want. I used just thick cut bacon. There was really no other flavor to it. You can use whatever you want. This is one of those dishes that you can customize it to your own taste. The key here is you're smoking it. You're giving it that extra flavor from the smoke. You can do it on any kind of smoker you have. You can do it on a pellet smoker, kettle like I had, an offset smoker. It's a great sort of dish to do if you already have other things cooking too. Put some in a pan, put it in a foil pan, set it out there, let it absorb some of that smoke flavor. And if you're serving it to guests, they're gonna go crazy. So I'd have to say that this combination of mashed potatoes, bacon, blue cheese, and smoke was an outstanding success. Mm.